Hello everybody, this is Ryan again, and we are back for our Let's Play Death May Cry. Before we start mission 10, let's buy some power-ups for our new strength we got on the last mission. Ifrit got some expensive abilities, but one should start Magma Drive, because it's not only the cheapest, but your high time equivalent, so it's a good thing to have. Secondly, I suggest that you get Kick 13, at least the level 1. It's your Stinger equivalent, and it's really good to have a knockback attack. After this, there's really not much of a best order to buy the abilities. Just buy whatever suits you the best. Meteor and Inferno are DT exclusive, so keep that in mind. Rolling Blaze is a very good ability to have. It got a very good protection and deals decent damage. So I really recommend you buy it as soon as you can. K13 level 2 is never too it's never bad to have. And between the two DT exclusive exclusive abilities, I will go for Meteor. And buy level 2 on the from the get-go. I still don't have enough orbs for Inferno, I'm 204 orbs short. So that will have to wait another day. So let's just get started already. On the Canyon of Mist, you must kill the enemies that are holding the Orb of Light that will show you the true path to move forward. If you enter the wrong path, or enter a path without the Orb of Light, or take too long to follow the Orb of Light, you just get thrown back to the beginning. I believe that if you kill enough enemies, the Orb of Light won't attach itself to any other and just show you the path to continue. Sin Sights, our usual strategy, DT Shotgun. Ah, uh, come on. Give me orbs. Thank you. And a secret statue here. Just get close to the gravestone and the red orb should fall. Hopefully I didn't take too long. Okay, still in time. Hello, Blades! No... Come on! On the back... And a critical hit! But I love critical hitting blades! My arch, please! Come on! Thank you! Wait for me, Arb of Light! Okay, once you're through the three parts... We're finally allowed to move on. This is where you would first meet the Clyclops. The good thing is, there are two of them, but the other is sleeping here. You should handle them like Phantom. So, using air hikes after Using Helmbreakers after our hiking may be your best bet. And killing them recharges your DT. It's a very nice thing. One of my shinies. And there's an item here, here for you to pick up along with a green orb. Holy water. Thank you. And we are done. No special bonus today, but we're happy enough for our S rank. This is this is it for mission 10, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and 
that's all there is to it. Not much to say tonight. Until the next video, see ya!